Welcome back, everybody. After our nation's capital was stormed, social media companies cracked down on accounts that they believe were inciting violence or spreading disinformation. President Donald Trump's supporters say that these actions violate free speech. The president's opponents argue that the actions taken by these big tech companies were an appropriate response to speech that violated their terms of service. So what are we really dealing with here? Free speech or free market? Ed Herman is with the law firm Brown and Crouppen. And Ed, let me start here. Obviously, Twitter and Facebook both permanently banned the president from their platforms. They point to their terms of service. Are they within their rights to do that? They absolutely are, uh, because we've all agreed to their terms of service. None of us have read their terms of service, <laughs> but we all have all uh, we've all agreed to it. Uh, they can kick anybody off they want. They can remove any posts that they want um, and and they can limit your speech in any way they want. Uh, uh, for example, you're not allowed to send uh, nudies of yourself. Right. We, we know that on certain platforms, I suppose you could, but on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter, you can't post nudes. Uh, as a result, uh, they can take them down. You've agreed to that in your terms of service, despite the fact that that is considered a form of free speech. So number one, you agreed to it. Number two, people need to understand what the First Amendment actually says. Mm -hmm. It says that the government cannot infringe on your free speech, but it does not speak to private entities. If you were in a restaurant and were talking in profanities, the management has every right to come over and say, excuse me, we don't talk that way in this restaurant. This is a family establishment. We're going to need you to go ahead and leave. Well, for all intents and purposes, Twitter, Facebook, these are private entities. And they have that same right to determine that they don't like what you're saying. They can kick you out. You're not entitled to free speech there. That's private entity. That is not the government telling you to quiet. But even when it is the government telling you that you can't say certain things or do certain things, even that is allowed if it's for the interest of public safety. We've all heard the expression, you can't yell fire in a crowded movie house. Right. And that is because at a certain point, your free speech interferes with somebody else's freedom of safety. And, and, and safety always trumps all. So uh, th I guess this is a detailed answer to your question. But as a lawyer, I cannot tell you how infuriating it is to hear people spouting off the phrase, I have a First Amendment right to free speech. No, you don't. You have it when it comes to government imposed restrictions. You absolutely do not have it when it comes to private entities and social platforms like Facebook and like Twitter, not even the president has it. There you go, Ed. Nice way to sum it up. We appreciate it. Uh, you can reach out to Brown and Crouppen at any time, by the way, by calling 314-ALL-TWOS or check out their website at getbc.com. While you're online, by the way, they're not always this serious, I swear. Be sure to check out getbctv.com for funny, entertaining, and informative videos from Ed and the rest of the gang at Brown and Crouppen.